Uh, Woo! Hello, What's everyone. Up? Let me put my glasses on. Yes, I do wear glasses. I can't. Okay. You need some real prescriptions, though, you know, like not drugstore glasses. He needs his little one. Yeah. And you'd also need the, uh, What's the thing from the jerk so it doesn't slide down? The OptiGrab. You need the OptiGrab. You need to bring the OptiGrab back. Well, it's we not got, as bad as they say. It's not as harmful as it, they said in the movie. Brandon, we got some people from Brazil. Um, what? Maine. What? Yeah. I don't, I'm not seeing all that feed, so I'm going to count on you to, to, to tell me that because nothing's showing up on my screen. But that's great. Welcome, people from Maine and Brazil and from what's, all over. Thanks for tuning in. What's happening, everybody? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Can every, anybody out there tell me what the symbol is on this hat? What's it mean? Brazil, what's up? Anybody, anybody chiming in? Yeah, we got Chris Santos. And, and uh, Brandon, if you put, make your screen a little smaller, you know, the things, you'll see the, the uh, comments on the right. That way you can read them. Oh, okay. Thank you. You see them? Yeah. Hold yeah, we on. got some, we got a lot of Brazil. Oh, wow. Okay. Time to smoke it up. Charles Baldwin. Hey, I like your last name, like Baldwin Pianos. Nice. Uh, wow. Thiago Gomez. We Hi, got, everyone. We got Brooklyn in the house. Brazil. Brazil. Um, we need to get back over to Brazil, dude. Chris Stantos. I think you misspelled uh, hello, guys. I hope you did. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'll, let, I'll use your imagination. He had the wrong vowel for guys, unless, unless he's just being mean. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Tupelo, Mississippi. Yeah, I hear Georgia. Yes, you do, Rolf. How you doing? Jason. And, uh, Rodney oh. Wurlitzer Parsons. I mean, we got a Baldwin. We got a Wurlitzer. Wow. Hey, what's up, Todd? I see you on there. What's happening? Hey, Jason Magyar. Good buddy of ours. You know oh, Jason. Yeah. Hey, Jason. Dallas, Texas here. Denmark. We were wow. a while. Germany. Wow, that's cool. That's very you cool. Good old South Carolina, Kelly Patterson. From Thank the Southern Glow Biker Bar. Isn't that in Lancaster? That's where we played at, right? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's Merle's Inlet. Sorry. Hey, Kelly. I was thinking of the kickstand. The kickstand's in Lancaster. Have we ever played the kickstand, haven't we? No, not the one in Lancaster. We should, though. Oh, man, I thought you were I thought you were drinking out of a bottle, like a baby bottle. <laughs> it's apple juice. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. Nobody seems to know. Argentina. Argentina. What does this symbol mean, people? Somebody tell me. Nobody seems to know, P. Uh -oh. It's not looking good. Again, Patty Vaughn. Cheers from Robert Lawrence. One love from Rockford, uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. North Carolina. Me. That's Minnesota, I guess. Uh, I hope everybody in Brazil is doing okay, doing well. Yes. Oh, in the house, ice. Durain for uh, from Louisiana. Wow. It's... This is great, dude. I know. Uh oh, somebody said Star Wars, so they they answered your question. But not really. I want to know what is it for. I know they just guess because they know you like Star Wars. I know. I want to know yes. what that means. Arkansas in the house. We're coming to Arkansas next weekend. That's right. And where else are we going? Houston? No, that's the follow-up. We got uh, Arkansas and um, um, Louisiana. Oh. In Nashville before that. Um, Istanbul. Yes, we would love to come to Istanbul. Um, somebody got but, it. But, hold on. We've seen the movie Midnight Express. Um, so... Uh, you know, when we go, we're going to be really careful. But yes, we would love to come to Turkey in Istanbul. All right. Um, somebody, got it. somebody sort of got it right. They said Boba Fett, but it's it's fat. Close enough. <laughs> like Close enough. Nice. So, Brandon, what have you been doing this week? Um, baby stuff. Uh, getting the house, kind of trying to get a hold of my yard. The weeds are bad again, but I think right. I've got them under control. Um. You know, just taking care of the baby and baby's mommy. And, um, yeah, making up for the time that I've been gone, which has been great to be back on the road. But uh, when I'm back, it's like full daddy time. She's like, here. Because, you know, she, she she's, uh, you know, working hard. 
I'm, so yeah, I, yeah I mean, every time I'm back. So that's what we're doing. Um, maybe little Teddy will make an appearance soon. Hopefully he'll be not be fussy because he, he went to the doctor today. He's kind of in a bad mood. Mom, mommies are busy. Mommies, uh, yeah. Thank you to all the mommies out there. Yeah, and and the working mommies out there. That's true. And I, and I can only imagine the challenges of being a single mommy out there. So y'all are our heroes. And I'm not just saying that to get cheap applause. I really mean it. Well, if you think about it, Brandon, our wives are pretty much single mommies all the time. <laughs> I know. So we got hats off to them. You know. All right. Well, Teddy wants to come say hey. All right. We'll get him, and then I'll ask you what you're doing. Um, not trying to make this all about me, but he's in a he's in a good mood. Here's Teddy. Hello. He likes to see himself. Look, Teddy uh, baby. Look at him. What in the world is he wearing? What? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what do you think, bud? What do you think? He's big. He weighs 20 pounds, pretty much. That is uh, awesome. Big, I can't even fit him a small baby. He big. Hey, Teddy. Oh, his band -Aid. He got his first Band-Aid today. Where is it? Oh. Uh -oh. Boo -boo. I bet he didn't like that. He had a delayed reaction. He was cool. And then like 30, you know, 10 seconds later, he's like, yeah. <laughs> but um, he, yeah, I think he was thinking like, was that supposed, should I be crying or should yeah, I like, What was that? But yeah. <laughs> uh -oh, people are saying some nice stuff. Awesome baby. So adorable. Woo. Um, nature yeah, <laughs> nature boy, he's gonna be a nature boy for sure. He loves nature, he's gonna be a little wrestling fan. Um, you know, he likes stuff like the nature boy, dinosaurs, he likes like the dinosaurs. But this, this book, I was the kid that loved dinosaurs, I knew all their names, and I think this was the first book I ever that introduced me to dinosaurs. And it's like from the 50s, so the information's not true. It's, you know, it's like, it says like T-Rex is like 50 feet tall. I don't think that's correct. But anyway, it's got some bad ass art in it. Let me show you. Um, hold on. Where's the T-Rex? Where's the T-Rex scene. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. You know, <laughs> mommy's like, I don't know if he needs to be seeing that. But um, anyway, just, I had to order this on eBay because I lost mine. But in mint condition, this thing's worth $600. You can't find yours. I can't find mine, but this is definitely not mint condition. This was wonder, only this was only thirteen dollars. I wonder if it was yeah, mine's lost. Oh, another favorite, a uh, snowy day. Oh, it's another one of my. I mean, Teddy's favorites. That's right. <laughs> Look at Teddy. He's like, Dad, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> keep, keep me all over the place. That's anyway, awesome. He's 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 been a good boy. He, so I said. Ra Ralph said, get some chickens, direct descendants of the dinosaurs. That's, That's true. true. That, like, that book has no idea about that connection. Give me my hair. He likes to eat everything, including my hair. Uh-oh. So uh -oh. He knows when you're sitting down. Like, he wants you to stand up, and, like, you can't fool him. Like, I try to hold him the same way when, and have a seat. He knows. Yeah. He's like, oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Say hey to everybody. Oh, and also thank you to all the people who gave Teddy gifts uh, yeah. and awesome clothes and sweet cards. Um, They're very appreciated and much needed. And I uh, just want well, um, Teddy wants to say thank you for all that. Oh, he's going to eat my arm. <laughs> he's going to eat my arm now. He's going to have a lot of hair in his mouth. Yeah, he's going to have a hairball. <laughs> Me hacking up hairballs. Hello, Eddie from Scotland. All these right here. All right. So P, hey, what have you been doing today? I we oh, limousine. Say hello to everybody. I look, it's Teddy. Say Hi. hey to Emerson, Teddy. That's hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm digging the long hair. I'm doing homework. Oh yeah, he's getting. Look oh, how long his hair is. Give me a break. Look, you're doing your homework. Yeah. No, you're not. Yes, oh, he's just saying that for the. He's just saying that for the camera. Is this Emerson? Let's see your homework. Let's see what you've been doing. <laughs> you don't well, have any. Well, it's, just, it's all online. Homework, his homework is uh, watching videos. I know. It's all like there's no paper to pin, so you can't prove anything. You know, it's all like virtual homework. You weirdo. He's just so <laughs> weird about cameras. It's, look, I'm going to chase you down with this. I see him. I see him. He's on. 
He's always like this on his on his, on his um, school thing. He's like this. Oh uh, yeah, because he's got uh, he's got his eyes on some, on something else besides. <laughs> That's so why I'd be like this. Your, your, our hair for any reason. This is how I would be if I. I mean, but we didn't have that opportunity back well, then. Normally, it's like this, dude. Every one of his classmates are like this. You can't see their face. <laughs> all just like this. That's awesome. Yeah. Like That's that. right. Of course, of course, they are. I would have been too. Say thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> well, she says, "I love your hair, Kenna Harrison." Thank you. Um, what, what I put in a microwave today. That's what I've been doing all at the been all day. Man, oh, Lord. and this one here, did he help? Bugging me the entire time. He wasn't, he wasn't helping. He went like holding the screws and stuff. He helped, he helped a little bit, but he helped tear up the box with a knife. That was his. There you go. You got to you yeah. know, put him to work somehow. Make it fun. I showed him how to open a blade and he just went after the box. Good. Hey, that's what you got. It's fun, isn't it? Oh, we got lots of knives around here, but a lot of people from Brazil are here and from Canada. Right well, why did you need a new microwave? Well, the um, the other one just quit working above the stove. Yep. Now and let me ask you something. How many years did you have that microwave before well, it stopped? It was, it was in the house and bought the house, so probably like ten years, fifteen years. Well, that's good because you know these days appliances are made to, 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 to go kaput like within five to 10 years. Oh, really? Because if they made them too good, you'd never have to buy a new one, right? Right. Yeah. Totally. Uh, so I was on Instagram and somebody had posted an old school picture of a Sky City, no, a Kmart. And somebody made the comment that I bet some of those appliances in the picture still work today. Because, I mean, they used to make stuff, you know, built to last. Pretty but, heavy. Uh, now stuff's it's actually set up to like fail within a few years. So then you got to go buy the new one. That's the world we live in, Teddy. Sorry. You're going to have to earn your keep soon. You're going to have to make some money for us. Got to get some muscles. We got to get this one some muscles. Yeah. He's going to the, Donna's going to the show in Asbury Park in August. Oh, good. Yes. So we got the, um, we got the uh, Spirit of the South tour coming up. Woo! I agree with Rob and she says they all break after the warranty is out. I agree. Yeah, we have That's so true. I'm glad, you're, I'm glad you see that too. Which we are looking these they're um, looking forward to me being gone is what it is. They they can't I wait to in the house. Oh, I can't imagine that. That's not true, is it, Emerson? Paul be gone. <laughs> what well what happens when Paul's gone? You just get to do whatever you want. <laughs> my basement is my, my basement is domain. You know, well, does Emerson hang out in the basement when you leave? Do you? And then take over? Oh, he skateboards down here. Oh my god! You need to have an indoor ramp down there. Well, it's kind of like that. I wish he wouldn't do that because I'm, I'm afraid that uh, I just uh, I just don't want him to fall. Yeah. Well, young people fall a lot better than we do. Speaking of, speaking of, yes, it's our twentieth anniversary. Congratulations to you and uh, uh, Britt and Richard and Charlie on the full twenty plus years. I joined. 10 years ago. Congratulations to me. That's right. Congratulations, B. I, I thought it's been 11. 11 for me. But, um, you know, it makes you want to think of, well, what are some fun stories and stuff? And this might not have been fun for you or me, but uh, it just reminds me of the time you, the second time you wrecked your, had a bike wreck. That's and right. I, I had a bike wreck. I yeah. didn't wreck it. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I just wanted to clear the air and officially say it was not your fault. That's right. Thank like, you. Very like, much. Robin Rib, like Robin Williams says, it's not your fault. You it's heard that. Fault. You heard that Brandon say it wasn't my fault. Yeah, I was there. I was on the scene. Thank you very much. It was brutal. But, you know, everybody was like, I hope Paul's OK. They were so worried about you. But I'm the one who had to witness you getting crunched over by a, basically a Mack truck. Nobody asked how I was feeling. I had to witness that. It was terrible. <laughs> I'm still not the same. I remember right after that. Well, no, that wasn't. That was the first wreck. I remember after the first wreck I had on the bike out on the road. We were uh, where was San Diego. Uh, the first one was in San Diego. Yeah, you went down a, a real steep hill and forgot to jump the curb. It was dark, and you well, that, had that, that, mustache because I kind of blame on you and Doc for leaving me uh, at the top of the hill by myself. I was lost. <laughs> we were on a journey, man. You know, those were another time when we had bicycles. That's right. What a dangerous time. <laughs> um, but you, on that one, folks out there in face, 
uh, out there on, on the line. He scraped off this part of his mustache. So it's like a reverse Hitler mustache. And it was, you know, and every time he went to touch the mic, his swollen lip was like, yeah, Mike, and he was just in lots of pain, but he still delivered a great show. That right there, see where it's gray? Is that where it was? Yeah, right, it ripped all that off. Remember, and it came back gray. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what happens. Well, I'm glad it came back. What if it never came back? Oh, I know, dude. That would, <laughs> that'd be terrible. Mm -hmm. Well, um, yeah, so we got that the tour going on. It's our twentieth. And a new album coming out. All right. That comes out Friday, people. Woo! We're very excited. Our album, You Hear Georgia. Mm -hmm. It'll be coming uh, out Friday. So we're looking forward. Did you have a good time recording that? I certainly did. It was a learning experience. It was just great camaraderie and awesome storytelling and being in that, in that historic studio. Oh, my goodness. The awesome uh, awesome studio. That was uh, cool. It so, was. It was a. It was a great memory, and you know, we all did it very safely. And that was the first time we had seen each other in a while, and it was such a uncertain time. But that was a. That was a. You know, uh, yeah. a, a healing time and a good time to be together. Uh, that we. Need, it was good to be together. We needed each other during that time, and um, nice to know that we we could do it safely and successfully. Yeah. And great record came out of it. Yeah, we kind of, we kind of, we kind of snuck in and snuck out. We get our records done so quickly. At, yeah. you know, record, we do it so fast. It's just weird. It's just, yeah. You know, we know each other so well what we're doing. So we just, uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I certainly did. Well, that was, you know, we had to stay in a hotel and, um, you know, they made it real safe, mass and clean. But it, that was your first time venturing out of your house. So it was a real iffy feeling. Yeah. You know, then you realize, well, you know, it was actually done very safely looking back and um, and I'm thankful for that. But uh, it, it was a, it was a uncertain time, but it was made all the much better once, you know, once we started cranking out the music and uh, so, now with the final product was, it was just great. So well, Colin, hearing it. Colin here says that they're getting our album from Popeye on Friday. Tell Popeye. Oh, hey, hey Popeye. Hey Popeye, Popeye and all your family. And to, uh, to, the, to the whole gang over there, we can't wait to come back to Europe. That's another thing. It's like we are excited to come back and travel across seas. We just got to wait till they, uh, you know, let us come over there. And um, I think I feel like things are getting better and better. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, like it's sliding down. It, it, we'll be over there so, sooner than later. Uh, Lisa or Lisa uh, says, Brandon, we need more videos of you playing piano. And Phil, oh. that's right, Phil. I got it on, player. Okay, uh, Lisa, I, I, I'm, I've been slack. You know, I got my YouTube channel and I want to do some tutorials and I in, intend on adding a lot more into Instagram and that. And um, it's just like little baby has, um, you know, I got to get up. Basically, I, I got to start getting up super early before he gets up so I can do this stuff. I'm, I'm learning. But one thing he's teaching me is how to use my time more wisely. And um, why does it feel wet down here? This little, see, he, we just stuffed him in this outfit. He's already kind of outgrown it, but <laughs> it's, it's not going to hold much. Brandon, does that woo mean woo or does it mean woo? It depends. Let's see. Depends on what time of day Mommy. it is. <laughs> He's okay. I'm just kidding. We are expecting something soon because it's been a while. It's been a while. But um, no, uh, thanks for watching those videos. I, I do intend to do more. And if you have any requests, let me know. I'll try, yeah. to get, I'll try to get to them. So are you going to start doing like start doing lessons at all or go back? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, well, that's one good thing that came out of the pandemic for me is it taught me how to do virtual lessons. Like I've taught lessons on and off, you know, and it's like I'm I'm in I'm a hands on kind of guy. You know, right. I was like, how are you supposed to teach through a video screen? But um, the more, you know, I finally had some chances to do it and have tweaked it. One of my, my first, you know, I've gotten better at it. One, uh, I, I actually, a certain prominent guitar, babe, will you can take a little Teddy for a second? He's interrupting the show. He's, <laughs> he's, he wants to you be know, he just hold him like he likes to be healed. Um, so one of the, um, he wants me to stand up. He wants me to stand up. So I'm going to move my camera back just a tad. Ow! <laughs> he wants to eat my hair. Can I have that? He's got a strong grip. Look at that. I bet. He's got your hand, the, the hands of yours. 
I know. And my arms. His arms are so long. When he has a poopy diaper, I have to be careful because he can reach all the way down there. Um, so I had a certain prominent guitar player from a certain well-known band reach out for a couple, a couple of lessons. And um, it went really well. And when it was over, I was like, man, it was so great to see you. And he was like, um, it was great to see your feet. I was like, oh, okay, I got to do better than that. So now, yeah, nobody wants to see my feet. It's a distraction. So uh, anyway, yeah, I, I can do virtual lessons. So if anybody's interested, hit me up. That man, he's got you, Brandon. He ain't letting go. Mommy, help. Emerson, you used to do that all the time. You used to grab my hair. Oh, my God. Hair. Now I can grab yours. Look at that. <laughs> I'm glad I washed my hair today. <laughs> Okay, that can't be good. Give me my hair. Ooh. Thank you. He's going to get some pants. See, look, he's going to make stand up. Even though I hold him the same way sitting down, he knows when you sit down. Thank you, Jimmy. Oh, my. Great to share with you. I appreciate you coming to that show. Um, yeah, so many nice comments. Um, yeah, this is great, man. Y'all are such good people. So so Friday is, is a new day, and we're going to be in Nashville. Yes. Doing like acoustic songs or something off the record, and yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a um, cool fun. And then we head out to I forgot. Oh, then we do Arkansas, Arkansas, that's right. And then, uh, then we have the next year we have Houston and um, uh, Austin. And so now, that's the following weekend, yeah, that'll be the next weekend. Nice, yep, so. I'm looking forward to the Spirit of the South tour, dude. I'm just, yeah. just because it's going to be cool to see how many songs we end up doing with the other bands. and Well, yeah, the jam at the end is going to be awesome. I mean, it's going to cover all of our everybody's favorite Southern music, you know? I mean, right. you know, that's, that covers a lot of stuff, so I don't even know what we're doing. Um, what you know? What songs we're going to be all jamming on? I'm sure it'll be a nice surprise for everybody and ourselves included. But that's fine. Um, and uh, I just look forward to it because it'll be. It's gonna. There's a lot to cover there because you know, you know, Southern rock is made up of country, blues, um, rock and roll. You know, a little bluegrass in there. So there's, you know, so many opportunities for some really cool stuff. I, and I, I, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of quiet. A lot of quiet practice spacing. You know, we're all going to be practicing songs that we need to. You know me. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be clickety clacking on my keyboard with my headphones on in a little rehearsal space somewhere. What did Amanda say it sounded like when I'm playing my my plastic keyboard with my headphones in? You can't hear any music, and you can just hear me beating the class plastic keys. What did she say it sounded like? Uh, Amanda says it when she's. I'm on the phone, and you're practicing in the room. Yeah. She says it, it sounds like. Um, close your ears. It sounds like Pinocchio masturbating. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what are you probably about? Hopefully, hopefully, he does it with some rhythm. I don't well, know. I don't know. Somebody don't said. Know. Somebody said, "Say happy birthday." Oh, somebody um, say happy birthday to somebody on August twentieth. If I remember, happy birthday. If I remember, I'll, August twentieth, we'll try. Seven days after Emerson. Yeah, see, that's another thing. I won't be home for his birthday. And that's another thing, people, that we 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 tend to miss out on the road because we're, you know, super busy all the time. But, you know, he's – we'll be doing FaceTime birthday, won't we? Is he asleep? No way. Hey, Teddy, hey, Teddy. <laughs> I didn't think so. He, sleep, he doesn't sleep during the day. But it's okay. He sleeps during the night so far. Somebody said that is not a good way to get your nose to grow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I mean, but I'm just, that's good. I mean, I always heard it makes you blind. I don't know. Um, that's a wild, old wives tale. Somebody <laughs> said, please do countryside of life. I'm pretty sure we might Ooh, do that one. I was thinking whoever said that I was hoping the same thing. Nothing's official, but that would be a perfect one. Everybody takes a little jam on it, but we'll see. Maybe we can, Maybe we can pull some influence and uh, uh, request that. Yeah, I'm sure that we'll. Oh, sure. How does Amanda know what Pinocchio sounds like when he's doing that? Ask <laughs> Macropus. <laughs> I'll, I'll get her down here to ask. <laughs> I guess uh, he gives true meaning to the w term Woody. Right. <laughs> Do any, does anybody out there have any questions for Brandon and I that we could oh. possibly answer? Like in, uh, I guess, music wise or influences or general stuff at home 
Real quick, I want to say hello to Melanie Angel uh, and and wish her the best for her surgeries next month. And All right. Like and uh, it was good. I saw her from a distance at the shed and um, didn't get a chance to speak to her, but uh, God bless you and good luck with all that. And hope, hopefully you'll have a speedy recovery and we'll see you back at a show soon. Right on. Somebody from France just showed up and somebody from Madrid, I believe. Wow. Um, that is awesome. Somebody says, will you come to Spain? We've been there before and we are looking forward to coming back. We just trying to figure it all out. As soon as this pandemic dies down and, and I'm still sure <laughs> oh yeah, we love coming to Spain. That yes. was our first tour we did, we went to Spain. Uh, Al Corona, Madrid, um, oh my God, just like a lot of little small beach towns it was yeah. so beautiful. Somebody just asked, um, have we stopped using orange amps? We don't stop, we just don't use them late, we haven't used them lately. Yeah, it depends on, you know, what the song calls for, or, you know, so. And Phil wanted to know, did the, did the piano <laughs> What's that? Somebody wanted to bring a field. All right, Teddy's going to fly away now. Bye. Bye. Come take a ride on my beautiful balloon. Somebody's yeah. like, Brandon's got a baby. Brandon's got a baby. <laughs> Brandon got a baby. Um, okay, what's your state? What's your main stage amp, Paul? I have a Marshall and a Vox. Oh, two of them. And I thought I took up a lot of room with my stuff. Yeah, somebody just asked, with Benji playing with us now, is it going to limit my opportunities to rip some solos? He's a great player and all, but love when you dig in. Now, I actually, if you listen in, I'm soloing a little bit while we're doing yeah. songs. <laughs> there you go. Who I'm are your there. idols? I'm in there. Uh, Sho Kasuji, that's one of my idols. Does anybody know who Sho Kasuji is? Anyone? What's he famous? Uh, what uh, What is his role? What is What is he trained very hard to be? Does anyone know? Sho Kasuji. <laughs> What's your I favorite guitar? To <laughs> Try. What is he up? Oh, did Emerson know the answer to that? He should be a character in a video game. He's what? not. What's his name? Himself right. Sho. S H O Kasuji. He's he's from Japan. He sh oh somebody said martial arts. Uh, Emmett Twist R R Riddle. That's true. Oh Show yeah. Kasuji. Uh, yep, they know. Somebody he, put Show he, up. He is a real ninja. He studied for thirty years in Japan, which which is what it takes. He is in the movie Enter the Ninja, Revenge of the Ninja, Ninja <laughs> Three: The Domination, Pray for Death. And on and on. He was in The Master. Do you remember the TV show The Master with uh, Lee Van Cleef? Mm -mm. About ninjas? Come on, guys. Anyway. No, he's not a, He's not in Street Fighter. He should be. He should license his character for these video games. But he's got an Instagram page. He's Japanese, not Chinese. Very true. Thanks, Jason French. He's Japanese. Um. All right. But, yeah, that's one of my influences. What's my favorite guitar? My favorite guitar is... My Les Paul, my 79, I still use it. I have it out on the road. and I just love that guitar. Uh, uh, Jennifer Houston says, that's true, Amanda. I've heard Brandon practice before. Thanks, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, Paul, when are you going to do some lead singing? I don't know. They hear me sing all the time, so I'm pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Can't beat that with a baseball bat. Damn. Uh, <laughs> oh, runs a crypto network. Oh, that was a good answer for Shokasuji. Nope. But uh, when's the last time you had a haircut? Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. He goes, Yeah, I know. When? I don't know. Dork. A few months ago or something. No, I think it was a while. When? Yeah, like. It was Literally in uh, April. April. He got like this much cut off. It was a lie. I know. Oh, sorry. What's your favorite Blackberry Smoke song and album? Oh. I do not have. It's weird. I really honestly don't have a favorite. I like them all. And yeah, I mean, it, it kind of go. You know, just like with any any bands that you love, uh, it kind of changes from time to time in your mood. You know what I mean? Yeah. You go from one to the other. Um, 
you know, in particular, uh, or late here lately, I've been digging back into uh, like an arrow, you know, but uh, you know, you kind of go back and forth. You don't really, it just kind of depends on what's, what's going on in your life at that time. Right. Yep. Yep. I do. I kind of, yeah, I kind of, like when I listen to him, I'm like, man, did I play this part in there? This part, I go back. That's when I go back and listen to because <laughs> I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I can't remember what I did or what I didn't do. And well, we'll probably need to go dig back in. You know, with this tour, we'll be playing from all across the catalog. So we'll probably need to go dig back into some stuff. And um, you know, I heard when when Rush, um, you know, moving pictures with Red Barchetta, they hadn't yeah. played that song in years since the album was released, and then in I guess the early nineties, they started playing it again and Getty Lee had to go pop the CD back in and relearn and relearn it. Baseline. I was like, God, I was just, uh, that kind of always stuck with me. I'm like, you mean it's just not like in his head. It's not, you know what I mean? It's not like on demand in his head, but even the, even the great Getty had to go back and learn. So like most people, what I would assume Brandon with, with people that record music, uh -huh. I would assume that they're all like, if they're like, anything like me, I guess, I listen to the record when we get it physically in our hand. Yeah. And then I put it away and probably don't listen to it again, bro. You just get, yeah. I mean, I, I, um, I'll go through little spells and uh, listen and go listen to some live, some more live stuff. It's always fun. Somebody okay. just asked me what year uh, what the, the movie Children Shouldn't Play with Dead Things was. Do you remember that movie? I remember the video box in the VHS store. Um, I know it's old. Most of my. my was it a virus thing? Huh? Was that movie about a virus? I don't even remember. Like maybe a zombie thing. Um, children shouldn't play with dead things. I remember that. God, that's an, that's somebody's trying to stump me. <laughs> somebody's out to get me to claim Brandon. my time. I'm gonna make a guess. I know it's early '70s because I just I remember that it was PG too. Where it's a lot of uh, back then, you could have a movie that was PG and it would still like scare the crap out of you. Right. Um, but I'm gonna go with like I don't know 1973 or two. I know it was early, so I'm going to go with 70 or one even. I'm going to go with the in the middle. I'm going to go with 72. Anyway. I need, I need to look it up because it's, it's, it's like, can put this really yeah. me too. Somebody said it's about zombies. Okay. Thanks, Macapus. Oh, and um, also somebody asked if we were uh, self-taught or school players. Um, I'm, I'm self-taught. Self so I had piano lessons in third and fourth grade, and that helped me read music. But when I would hear – say, you know, you hear Skinner on the radio and you hear the awesome licks of Billy Powell. It's like, there's no sheet music. There was no sheet music that, in other right. words, if you, if you were to get the sheet music to sweet home Alabama, it would have the melody programmed in. Are you listening? Yeah. You seem to track me. Sorry. So, like if, so, so I'm just looking, good. Good. looking good. <laughs> um, so for example, say sweet home Alabama with all those great licks that he plays on the record, right? Right. Well, if you were to get the sheet music for Sweet Home Alabama, it's not going to be that. It's going to be like an arrangement with the melody built in. It's going to be like, dung, 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 dung. You know, it's not right. going to have the, the stuff. So it forces you, you have to learn it by ear. So what, there's no technical training that you have to just kind of use your ear to hear that, to learn that kind of somebody stuff. Somebody asked, what's your favorite hymn to play? Uh, Shall We Gather uh, by the River. And I'm gonna I actually have come up with my own arrangement of it. And I hope to uh, get it printed out in sheet music form uh, and make it available to anybody who wants it. Shall we gather by the river? Um, and uh, it's a really, really beautiful song. And you can do, it's, it's basically the, the chord structure is just like C to G and C, maybe to F then back to C, you know what I mean? But yeah you can add so much in between all that and, and make it come to life. So uh, I've been, I worked on it last summer during the pandemic, then I kind of put it down, but that's when I'm on my list to crank back up again. So, yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I guess somebody said, I love the old hymns. Uh, yeah, well, you know what else is good about the old hymns? Mm -hmm. That they're in the public domain. So you don't even, I know it sounds uh, superficial and like, I'm not trying to make money off of them, but you don't have to pay copyrights. If you rearrange an old hymn and that goes for anybody out there, guitarists and you know, players take an old hymn, make it your own and then, and have the sheet music printed out. You can, you know, put it online on these sheet music companies and uh, potentially uh, sell it to a church or something. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You should do that. Yeah. I want to work on that. You know, they're, they're, these things are so old. They're, you know, 
actually shall we gather is more like turn of the century, but a, a lot of them go back way, way further than that. Somebody says, hello, Amanda. Okay. Amanda coming to steal our thunder. <laughs> so anyway, you're not as pretty as you. That's not fair. I need my, I need to get my baby, uh, my Teddy back. <laughs> Teddy was on here a minute ago. It was adorable. You get that baby on there. I need to see some love, baby. He was having a little meltdown. You know, it's the witching hour now. We uh, we had it right in the we had our our live stream right in the middle of the witching hour, and he's yeah. went to the doctor today, and he's kind of still grumpy. It's six thirty. This is definitely when Paul gets cranky. Somebody said Paul's better half. Hello. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Trust me, I know. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> that's awesome. So. Um, what was the question? Somebody asked another question. I couldn't. I, I know. I'm there, they're riding by so fast. They're going by so fast. People are asking, like, is this show on and that show on? Um, most likely it is, but stay posted and uh, to make sure it's official. But, you know, things are, since things are opening back up, most things are going to happen that you think are going to happen. You know what I mean? There's no, not going to be, yeah. you know what I mean? But I can't speak specifically for everything. Um, I wouldn't want to do, you know, do that. But, uh, uh, we're about, it's about to be on full steam ahead. So yeah. most likely. And that, that makes for a lot of bands. It's going to be busy. It's hey, Greg be, in New Zealand. Yeah. It's going to be really busy out there. So uh, definitely bands are coming back to do live shows. It's awesome. Somebody said, Brandon, we got to answer this question. Somebody okay. asked, asked um, what is our favorite bands? Who are our favorite bands? I can, I got to be honest with everybody that probably don't, don't know. Okay. Journey, I'm a huge journey fanatic. All right, I know that. I'm talking. I'm talking before Steve Perry, with Steve Perry, after yep. Steve Perry. I like it all. I don't just like certain things. I don't like just you know. Don't stop believing. All that. I like everything because I grew up singing, so that mm -hmm. I was drawn towards that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And you like the old stuff with uh, with Greg. Yeah. Greg, yes. Dude. Uh, I think he had a great voice. I loved hearing him sing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, of course, I love what I love what he did with Santana and stuff. Yeah, he's a he's a big influence. Uh, you know, they, there's other bands that I love. I, I like a lot, like Cult. Um, yeah. I like George Strait. I listen to pretty much everything, don't I? Everything. Yes. I love the Cure. Oh I yeah, I saw the Cure in '92 on the Wish tour. I know. I've never seen. Oh man, that's it was awesome. Pretty awesome. It was. I mean, it was in. It was at the Dean Dome in 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 North Carolina. It's at Chapel Hill. Uh, the sound was amazing. It was huge. In um, is it arena? Were they in arenas at that point? An arena, yeah. It was, it was. It's their basketball arena. It's where like Michael Jordan. He has all kind of banners about his championships in there and stuff. Did they have an opening band or was it just? Them? Yeah, it was a band called the Cranes. Cranes. I, 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 I need to listen. Check them out. What's yeah, I don't it? remember them as much. But Friends, somebody asked best advice for a touring musician. I know the answer. What? No pooping on the bus. Yes. <laughs> That's the best advice I can advice. Don't do that. <laughs> don't be the one. Don't be the guy. That guy that does that. And stay away from her, whoever her is. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh um, sorry, my dog's uh, trying to beat down the door, and I got a little baby doing tummy time right now. I'm just making sure everything's okay. I don't know where mommy went. <laughs> and what's your favorite band, Brandon? Um, you know, I'm a big Rush I fan. Say Rush. Huh? Or not. What, what is what is it? Amanda says about Rush. What is it she says about them? Um, oh, I can't remember. Yes, a girl repellent. Oh, well, well, you saw the picture of the bathroom at a Rush concert where there's a line full of dudes and uh, going in, and then the girls' bathroom is totally wide open and free because there's nobody in there. <laughs> but um, actually, I think as time goes on, more and more girls are getting into Rush, and I think yeah. that's right. well, they're true. They like the cute guys that like Rush. That's it. And they're pretending Maybe. nobody, Maybe. nobody Maybe. with boobs likes rush. I think times have changed. Sure. I mean, I think we, have. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. Well, unfortunately you can't go see him in concert anymore. So I'm glad for my 30 times that I did see him. Somebody wrote, you can only pick one to have an hour with me for uh, Jimi Hendrix or Steve Gaines, Brandon, Billy Powell or Jerry Lee Lewis. Um, what games? Well, um, oh, geez, that's a good question. I mean, probably Jerry Lee because, uh, you know, it's Jerry Lee, but, uh, you know, nothing against Billy. But I almost got to meet Billy Powell. But I, was, I was like a year short and I, I, I regret that so much. But, um, you know, because of those cruises, he was on the cruises with you guys. Y'all probably got to meet him. Yeah, but, I did. I met him in the elevator a couple times. Really cool. Yeah. 
I understand he's an awesome dude, but uh, you know, uh, both. I'd like to, 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 to be the three of us hanging out if we, if it, in a perfect world, but it's not how it goes. <laughs> Somebody said, <laughs> love, love yeah. them on. And honestly, uh, you know, I draw uh, probably because of, I probably draw more from Billy just because, but you know, he's he drew from Jerry Lee Lewis. So it all kind of worked. It's all from a similar source, but yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tom Moody said, hey, Tom, what's happening? He met Billy Powell twice. That's awesome. Wow. And uh, Imagine he is. Uh, Amanda, somebody wrote, I agree with Amanda 100%. <laughs> well, that's okay. Look, as a Rush fan, we're used to being made fun of and put down. It's nothing new. And, you know, it's not, I'm not ever trying to say, you should like Rush. Never. It's, well, it's, my, I think you did do that one. My favorite Canadian band. I've been really drunk. I won't do it again. I'm sorry. My favorite can Canadian band is, as you know, Triumph. So they're not the true holy triumvirate. Yes, they, yes, they are. Michael Bublé. <laughs> I love Michael Bublé. He's great. Yeah, we love Whiskey Myers, Donnie. Uh, yeah, they're great. We, uh, we, we, we get to see them every once in a while when we play festivals that they're on. Awesome That's band. Cool. My wife That's actually cool. worked with them on a, on a shoot. And said how uh, how nice they were and just great dudes and uh really yeah they, they were fun to tour with they were great great man I mean they're really really good people so yeah we you know I like you know my buddies Black Stone Cherry they're great um, yeah. um you know Almond Betts band we're, we're playing with them the Wild Feathers is going to be on the tour with us too so it's going to be pretty amazing we're going to try to get her to come see the show. Somebody said they married their wife because she knew all of Rush twenty one twelve. That was from Timothy B. Power Smith. I hear you, Timothy. That's a that's a unicorn. You found the you found a unicorn. Total unicorn. Congratulations to you. <laughs> yeah, I hope, I hope we get the tour with Tyler Bryant and the Shakedown again too. We miss those guys. Anybody listen to Free and Bad Company? Heck yeah. yeah, that's going to be my next tutorial. Is, is Bad Company by Bad Company? From the album, album Bad Company. Company. That's my next, uh, the next hey, thing I want to What was that again? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I love Thin Lizzy. Obviously, I love Thin Lizzy. I mean, it's, yeah. I like all kinds of stuff. Uh, Molly Hatchet, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, Thanks for asking the question because sometimes Brandon and I don't ever get asked those questions. And well, somebody said I'd rather listen to Blackberry Smoke. Thanks, uh, Night Wolf. Thanks, That's man. A nice thing to say. Or woman, you never woman. know. Well, you know what I mean, man, man. man. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy, old pal. <laughs> You're right, Heat. Oh, Ken Hensley. Heck yeah, I'm. I'm uh, oh yeah, the, the Georgia Thunderbolts. They put, we play with them, they played with us at the shed last couple. Uh, of years. Yes, Mark Knopfler from Ear Productionos. Great band, Georgia Thunderbolts. We love Mark Knopfler, Dire Straits, of course. But I like Mark solo uh, records. I, I I saw him a few times at um, Chastain Park. Oh my god! If you haven't visited his solo stuff, Mark Knopfler's it's just it's badass and um, very dynamic. Yeah. Just really you know, great songs. I haven't heard any of his. I need to check his solo stuff out. Sailing to Philadelphia. And it's got a lot of special guests on it, too. Like, um, who's John Farrell's favorite artist um, from up there in uh, Martha's Vineyard? You know, Fire and Rain. I've seen Fire and I've seen Rain. Drawing a blank. Oh, 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 um, <laughs> yeah, he's on that. Yeah. Come Dave on. Dave Taylor. He's on. The, he's a guest on the record. Um, tons of. Uh, Emily Harris uh, with with Knopfler. Oh, on the record? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, it, but um, but the songs are so good too. I hear you. And somebody, um, what else? Somebody said I love James Taylor. He's great. Um, oh, oh, Rory Gallagher, of course. I love him. just a badass. Uh, yeah, badass. Heck yeah! Yuli John Roth, of course. Old Scorpions guy. I need to learn the intro to Celluloid Heroes from the Kinks, okay? I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. I'll give that a re-listen. What is that Kinks song that I like so much? Come Dancing. Come Dancing. Remember that tune? Come Dancing. Remember that. The Outlaws, of course. <laughs> Love that song. Gary Moore is perfect. Mm -hmm. Are y'all on out? No, I don't know what we're doing. If we're doing oh, that. some nice stuff here. John Hyde, of course. 
Yeah. Outlaws. Outlaws. We toured with them. They were great, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we love all of our, uh, you know, when, you know, it's obvious that we love our Almond Brothers and our, uh, you know, Skinner and our Marshall Tucker. I mean, they're, you know, they're my South Carolina. I mean, Charlie Daniels band, um, you know, uh, Little Feet. It's like we love that stuff. Uh, so, yeah. you know. Uh, Black Buddies, do sing, Black Buddies sing on some of the songs on the record. Yes, they do. They're fantastic. Can't wait for y'all to hear them. They're, they're awesome. They are amazing. And super sweetheart. Girl. They smell better than the. Yeah, they smell better than us. <laughs> Somebody just mentioned Max Webster. Heck yeah. He's, he's, he was friends with Rush. So I get uh, Metal Slather uh, mentioned Max Webster. That's a. Uh, um, that's a good one. Travis Tritt. Hell yeah, Travis Tritt. And we toured with him. We opened for him a few times. He's great. Double T. I loved, I loved watching his shows after we were done. And Jackal. We love Jackal. All the guys in Jackal. Super, we toured with them. They're super cool. That might have been before you got in the band, Brandon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were really uh, were, were really good to y'all in the beginning, from what I understand. And, um, oh, yeah. you know, took you under the wing and uh, had some good, good, uh, just some good uh in Got us in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Some good times. They were a fun band to tour with, boy. I can imagine. Um, Somebody said, Paul Emerson's in the back playing with matches. I know. <laughs> he keeps bringing candles over and lighting them. He's setting a mood or something. I, have, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Quit, you little weirdo. Quit. Ah. He's supposed to be doing homework. Um. Yeah. Probably Ian. I mean, somebody asked me, do I like the Stones better with uh, Lavelle, Preston, or Ian? Well, um, I like, you know, of course I love Chuck Lavelle, but, and, and I hear, and, you know, I hear him in, in so many things. It's nice to get, get some Ian in there, some Ian Stewart. And so I can, you know, draw from him as well. And let's do about, you know, uh, love Chuck Lavelle, but I do like those recordings those uh, with, with Ian Stewart and of course with Billy Preston. Um, so just, I like them all. I don't, I don't, I don't just be like, Oh, I don't like this one guy. I'm not going to listen to the other, but um, it is always nice to hear what Ian, Ian does. And right. um, another favorite is Nicky Hopkins. He, he did some great stuff with the stones and um, of course with Jerry Garcia and stuff. And so uh, love, love that stuff. I don't, I don't really pick favorites. It's just, uh, you know, I try to try to absorb as much of that good stuff as I can. What do you what do you think about Jonathan Kane? He's he's a great songwriter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish I had his money. I know, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. I wish I had. Who you never too. tour with again? Oh, like that, that. Come on now. What? It, what? Somebody, somebody asked, "Who will we never tour with again?" <laughs> now, okay, that one time that we um, um, opened for uh, toured with the Pet Shop Boys. We're not doing that again. It just wasn't a good fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did? No. Oh. Well, you know, I like the there have been some. I do too. I do too. <laughs> there have been some mix-ups where it's been a little. You know, what? there's been some tour scrambly. Sometimes, you know, when venues or whatever the powers that be. Yeah, you know, we, we, two, we, sometimes you get put on a bill with like a bunch of bands, and you're like, huh? Oh? You know, but yeah, I hear you, John. It was a loaded question. <laughs> All good. Oh th man, th thanks, Eric, for saying that. Your music draws me closer to my late dad. Oh, oh my god. Well, that's the thing. It's like um, that's a good point because certain bands like uh, draw you. Like if if two people share the love of a band, it makes you like that band even more. Like back to Rush, my brother and I, growing up, we liked them both together. So it makes them even more special, you know. And, and um, and so that's very good to hear that our band does that for you and your dad. That's, that's such a, a, a special thing. Absolutely. I treasure that East end boys and West end girls. Uh, yep. He liked that pet shop boys reference. That's right. <laughs> that oh, somebody crazy. wrote Amanda Marshall. I have actually have her record. She's great. great. Her, her first record was unbelievable. Amanda Marshall. I do have that. If anybody don't know who that is, check it out. You know, well, Billy Cohen asks, any surprises for the Lake Charles next weekend? And the answer is yes. There are some surprises. Brandon, I already know this answer. Uh, somebody wrote Jonathan Kane or Greg Raleigh to you. Greg. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah, totally. I get it. He just just how he rips up that Hammond organ. It's like, you know, that's some of the first Hammond solos I remember hearing, like on the radio and stuff. Yeah. You know, uh, there's a lot of good stuff with him, you know, before Steve Perry, all his, you know, well, that, story. He he was leaving the band and he got he's like, here's here's my replacement. This yeah. guy's good. Yeah. That's Somebody said, what's the what's the best part of being on the road? What is that, Amanda? <laughs> Let Amanda answer that. Sweet, sweet peace. <laughs> it's so quiet. I don't have all these bassy sounds coming from the basement. Uh huh. Trying to watch Netflix. Or me trying to grab all over. Yeah, ah. yeah. There's no handsy. Emerson. All right. Somebody <laughs> says, I remind them of Lieutenant Dan minus the bandana. <laughs> I need to go get a bandana. Hold on. <laughs> what happened? Lieutenant Dan. Uh oh. What else we got? Let's see if we can answer right now. <laughs> well, well, my hair is kind of flat. Hold on, Lieutenant Dan now. Kind of big. Hold on. Let me poop it up a little bit. Little Viking coach covered thousands of miles driving truck singing BBS. Nice. Oh, th oh yeah. Thanks, Viking coach. Glad to be part of that. Oh, Todd. I see Todd on here. Favorite oh, venues. Oh. Hollywood Bowl. Oh, Santa, yeah. uh, the uh, Santa Barbara Bowl. That's oh, that's right. Yeah, Santa Barbara Bowl. Right there. He you know, played in the late seventies. There's an awesome picture of it when we we played there with Zach Brown. The the, the, the when that Santa Barbara, California, there was a, it was their ball. It was like in the hillside. You could see the ocean from the top of the thing. Yeah, it it's weird. Awesome. We, we played actually a lot of wineries. Did you ever notice that? Yeah. Well, in Cal yeah. There's they make great venues, especially out in California. They're like on the mountain, on the hillside. Uh, Hard to get the bus up to. Bubble gum. Okay. Maybe you could translate some of that, man. I'm trying to read these. They're going by so you fast. Did, would you say what your favorite Blackberry Smoke songs are? Like, what's your number one favorite song I, to I play? I don't have one. I like them all. I mean, no, you have to have one that you you like <laughs> like the best because I wish y'all would play Live in Hell. All right, here's a good one for you, Paul. Who would you like to do a duet with, vocal wise? Oh so, man. I mean, it doesn't have to be the ultimate. <laughs> but besides, you like, <laughs> basement. <laughs> huh? Y'all do it all the time with the karaoke machine. Who would it be? Um, Me. Who would it be? Steve. A, uh, no. A, du a duet. To me, a duet would be I mean, a female artist. Who would Brandon? Why? Because would be female. Hello, Everly Brothers. Who would Brandon? Oh, was, <laughs> my brother and I sing great, by the way. Yeah, they do. So. We, it kind of got this. Okay. You know, good. Thank we you all. should be saying Brandon, of course. Well, Bra I would <laughs> like to do that. No, you don't want to say do that with me. That would be horrible. His voice is beautiful. I mean, it's like a frog in love. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of a story. I, I was just telling uh, somebody the other day. Uh, remember when I came to audition for y'all? And um, uh, I brought not only my keyboard, but I also brought a guitar. <laughs> and so when it was it was like <clears throat> I played the guitar, played some keyboard, and it was time to go on the road for the first gig. And uh, and I was like packing everything up, and it's, I got word, oh, oh, Brandon, don't worry about bringing your guitar. You don't need to bring your guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I remember, I remember walking into rehearsal the first day that I met you. I, I pre, pre, sorry, priest or maiden? That's hard. I can't answer that. Um, um, Maiden for me. I love Priest, but Maiden all day. It's hard for me to do the most. Um, Linda Ronstadt, yeah, definitely. Um, yes. I, when I hold, on, in, I hold like, on, hold on. Is it fun working with Jimmy Hall? You damn right it is. He is yes. awesome. He just, oh my God, what he remember when we did the Capricorn thing? He just lit that room up, and it just was, it was fun. He just man. pulled it and sounded so good. It was so hard for me not to get out. Huh? It was hard for me not to stare at him like this. I was like, "Wow!" Because it was so cool. Yeah. I mean, he's a legend. So we love him. He and he he had stories to tell, and he, he was real personable and talked. To, he he talked to me about keyboards and uh, you know just went around the room and just he was just happy to be there, and it felt good. And he was made Metallica or Slayer. I mean. I would have to go with Metallica because I just uh, I, I discovered them first and I listened to them the most. But I mean, nothing against Slayer. I love Slayer, but 
I mean, she can master of puppets. I mean, yeah, definitely for me, Metallica. Yeah. Somebody wrote when I was, we were doing keep on smiling while I was on the isolation booth. Well, cause you didn't, we wanted the acoustic and we uh -huh. wanted to plug those in. So we have a microphone and we needed to be in a room by ourselves to, so we wouldn't pick up drums and all that stuff. So that's yeah, why no, we weren't, we weren't trying to lock him away. He was, <laughs> there was a real reason for it. There was a live mic in there. So he thinks. Yeah. At least that's what they told me. That's what they told him. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy Scores. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you got to meet him because he is very cool. Alan, I mean, Al Morin. Southern Child. Oh, somebody like the Southern Child thing. Then that is a cool tune. How many of the Brandon beat out? Oh, how many of the uh, musicians did Brandon beat out to get in to join? I mean, to join Black Bay Smoke. Um, I think you were the only one. <laughs> <laughs> That was it. Anyway, let me go back to my story. I walked yeah. in. I was like, who is this dude? Because I didn't even know you were there. Uh, I'm like, okay. Nobody told me that a piano player was there. So I remember I showed up um, <clears throat> one time. I um, came. I think I came to get like a demo or something. I, I had my my uh, Hawaiian shirt on. Uh, and uh, Richard was like, nice, nice, uh, nice shirt. I was like, uh, yes, yeah, laundry day. I just remember, I was like, uh, I don't know what these guys think of me come, showing up in my, my Magnum PI Hawaiian shirt. But y'all were, y'all were good to me. <laughs> and that's been awesome. ever since. All right, what else we got here before we wrap her on up? How was it working with Dave Cobb? Super great. Oh, God. Yeah. What I mean, again, you learn so much when you work with somebody like that. I mean, and he's like a conductor. He was in yeah. and, 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 and how he talks of music. You know, he can tell you what he wants to hear and kind of guide you. And I love that. I like having somebody with that expert ear and, and, and experience to try to to kind of be like, oh, you know, try this. Or he would hum something and I'd try to yeah. play it. And, um, and that just that's so, such invaluable lessons. I mean, oh, he, gave, right with me. he gave the best advice ever. Well, just, you know, wouldn't say advice, but statement of nobody nobody rock and rolls before noon <laughs> <laughs> no x-wing stand somebody says yeah. that is true no x-wing stand you can buy stands with four legs might as well do that to all the upcoming keyboard players just get the stand with the four legs forget the x-wing stand that's awesome yeah uh well, we're looking forward to seeing people out on the road and thank y'all for tuning in yes and, uh, i guess i'm gonna go um Find something else to do here in the house. Hey, here's another good question real quick. What song from the new album that, that's available um, May 28th are we most excited for fans to hear? I thought that was a really good question. Instead of what's our favorite song, what are we really excited for people to hear? And I mean, we can say the names of songs now, right? That's already been kind of put out because of that that last thing we did last week, right? I'm assuming it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Mine would be Old Scarecrow. I can't wait to play that live. That's going to be Y'all are yeah, in for be fun. Fun to hear that. It's going to be a fan favorite. It's going to rock. It's it's a powerful song. Um, I'm excited about that one. Paul, you got, you got one? I, all Over the Road. I like that too. Oh, God, yeah, that one too. That's all cool. of them. All of them, but yeah, we can't wait for everybody to hear the record. It's all. Emerson goes, give me $10,000 and I'll leak the record. <laughs> oh, is he holding you hostage? That's a, he's like one of those young little uh, bootleg, uh, what do you call it, ha hackers. He's, he learned it young. That's what they do. That's yeah. what the kids do these days. They hack you and then they hold it for ransom. <laughs> That's what we got to deal with. You better pay him off. Go Knowles. You got to pay him off. Well, I guess uh, we'll see you guys soon. And thanks for tuning in. And Love y'all, everybody. And if, sorry we didn't get to all the comments and stuff. It's just like they're scrolling by so fast. And I... I'm old. I can't read that fast. Well, that's awesome. Oh, we're well, off. <laughs> so much. And Emerson, come say goodbye. Say bye to everyone out there. Say, you all, all, over, uh, all over the world, Emerson. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 We miss everyone. Woo-woo.